Hey, 42 here. The world is changing, technology is advancing, and automation is fast taking over our lives. And our workplaces. In the 19th century, the Industrial Revolution came crashing into existence, and within a few short years, thousands of manual labour jobs were replaced by machines. Then came the robots, and every factory in every industry started to replace production line staff with automated robots that do the same job better, faster and cheaper. But if you think that the biggest changes in jobs have already happened, then you've got a big surprise coming your way. Because the future is about to be turned on its head, and you won't believe what is going to happen to virtually every job you know. That's right, the robots are coming. Some of them are already here, and they're after your job. If you've already watched my video on artificial intelligence, then you'll already know just how powerful AI is and how quickly it is becoming. But before true AI gets here, we have another challenge to face potential mass unemployment. If you thought that complex jobs like bartending, cooking, and also intelligent jobs such as doctors and lawyers can't possibly be replaced by robots, then let me show you how you're so wrong and how machines are already doing these jobs today. Not in 10 years, but right now. But first, we need to dispel a common myth. What is that myth? That the more we use robotics and computer software to automate our industries, the fewer jobs that there are for real humans. What if I told you that it's actually the complete opposite? Yes, it is true that the Industrial Revolution destroyed a lot of jobs. Many repetitive tasks could be easily replaced by steam-driven and later electric machines. But for every job that was destroyed, more than one new job was created. What's more, the new jobs that were created were less repetitive, more fulfilling, and on average, paid a higher wage. Examples of new jobs were engineers to maintain the new factory machines and designers to create them. Since they were paying less for factory staff, more of businesses' monies could be put into hiring other staff, such as salesmen, admin staff, accountants, and many, many others. But if so many new, higher paid jobs were created when the machines arrived, how come living standards were so low? Well, Truth is, they weren't. It's easy to picture the Industrial Revolution with poverty-stricken families being worked to the bone at the cotton mills or down the mines for a few shillings per week. Some people imagine the Industrial Revolution as a period of gross capitalist greed where a few got extremely wealthy whilst the rest of us only grew poorer and hungrier. But this simply isn't true. Sure, there were some extreme cases during these times. Human rights laws hadn't been created yet, neither had minimum wages or minimum working ages. And sure, there are many stories of very young children doing horrendously arduous and dangerous jobs, either at the mills or in the pits. But when we look at the actual statistics, everything points to the Industrial Revolution actually bringing a happier, healthier and longer life to the majority of families in the Western world. When we look at the UK, the statistics show that blue collar wages doubled between 1810 and 1850, and across the country, the average wage increased from £11 per capita in 1780 to £28 per capita in 1860. And the icing on the industrial cake was that the lower cost of production created by the arrival of the machines meant that the prices of pretty much everything that people bought, from food to clothes, were significantly reduced. These factors created a much higher standard of living for most families. And with this came the advent and growth of the middle class. This is not hyperbole. The statistics reflect this. In England, during the Industrial Revolution, the average family's consumption of expensive foods such as meats, sugar, tea and beer increased dramatically. 
And amazingly, so did the consumption of very expensive foreign imports such as cocoa, coffee, rice and tobacco. Before the Industrial Revolution, only the very wealthy upper class would have been able to consume such luxurious items. Astonishingly, if you look at the average Englishman's diet in 1850, it's pretty much the same diet that most of us still eat today. Minus all the processed food, of course. In 1850, the average weekly diet was 140 grams of butter, 850 grams of meat, 1.6 kilograms of potatoes, and 450 grams of fruit and vegetables. So then, it seems, contrary to popular belief, as a result of capitalism and the invention of machines and industry, working class families ate more and better food. They wore better clothes and they enjoyed higher wages. And there is absolutely no doubt that if the Industrial Revolution hadn't have happened, the entire developed world wouldn't live such a cushy lifestyle as we do today. Nowhere near. Without the Industrial Revolution and the machines that caused it, you can forget all the technology, luxuries and comforts that you enjoy each and every day. Experts say that what is coming over the next 5 to 10 years will be the next industrial revolution. But this time it will be the intelligence revolution or the robot revolution if you like, because it sounds a bit cooler. But the big question is, will things turn out for the better like they did last time around? Or will things end up much, much worse? If history is to be repeated, then the entrance of robots in the workplace should improve our lives significantly. But the problem is, things are so very different this time around, and it may just be one of the most terrifying transitional periods in the history of the human race. Why are things so different? Well, during the Industrial Revolution, it was really easy for people to keep up with the fast-moving pace of the new technology. It only took a few weeks to take a manual labourer and train them to become a machinist, giving them a whole new job for the new age they found themselves in. In fact, there hasn't just been one Industrial Revolution. There have already been three. The first was mechanisation with the invention of steam power and the mechanical loom. The second revolution was mass production, introducing the assembly line and electricity. The third was automation, utilising the power of computers and software. But the fourth revolution that has already begun today is that of AI. Automated cars, drones, smart robotics, and 3D printing. The problem with this revolution is that technology is going to move so fast that it will move faster than we can chase it. And the vast majority of the workers today are sadly going to get left behind. Here's an interesting fact for you. During the entire history of the modern world, from the 1600s until today, only one job has been completely replaced by technology. No, I'm not joking, just one. And that job is elevator operators. Every other job has just had to adjust in some way or other. When the ATM was invented, it was thought that within a few years, every bank teller would be out of a job, but of course they weren't. They just shifted into a new, more sales orientated role advising people on the new products that could apparently enhance their lives, like credit cards and loans. But this time it's so, so different, and there will be far more than one job that will be entirely replaced. How do we know this for certain? Because it's already happening right now. Do you know what else is happening right now? An incredible offer at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, technology and so much more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on must know topics so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities and just do the work you love. 
Jobs that can't and won't be replaced by robots will be those that involve a high degree of creativity, such as the arts, videography and photography. Human creativity is just too unique an attribute to be emulated by robots. So why don't you scrub up on your creative skills, like photo editing? I highly recommend the Skillshare course, Edit Like a Pro, Photoshop for Photographers. It will teach you everything you need to know to edit photographs to the same standards as world-class professionals. What I really like about Skillshare is that it's just so affordable. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Oh, and remember that incredible offer I mentioned? Well, since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 500 people to use the promo link in the description will get their first two months of Skillshare Premium for free. So don't miss out. I was saying that many jobs today are already being replaced by robots. Well, let's take chefs, for example. You would think that such a job requiring high dexterity, skill, finesse and adaptability would be really difficult to replace with robots. Maybe 50 years in the future we'll have robot chefs, but not now. Surely not now. I present to you Flippy. Flippy is what's called a cobot. That's a robot that works alongside humans in a peaceful and helpful manner. Flippy has one job, to flip burgers. But Flippy can flip burgers better, faster and more cleanly than most humans. Manufactured by Miso Robots, this AI line chef has been put into service in Cali Burger restaurants around Los Angeles right now. It's currently in a trial period, but will soon be rolled out into service across Cali Burger's 50 international restaurants. But this is no novelty publicity stunt. It's a serious investment for the fast food company. It is just far more efficient than any human fry cook. And since deploying it in a working restaurant, they have noticed increased productivity, reduced food wastage, and better consistency. Flippy doesn't just moronically flip burgers, it has AI capability to be able to recognise exactly what's happening on the grill at any moment. It can effortlessly and in a split second tell the difference between a burger patty, a bun, cheese, onions and even a human hand for safety. It has onboard thermal imaging so it knows precisely when a burger is done cooking and when to remove it from the grill. In the near future, Miso Robotics plans to adapt Flippy to be able to season burgers, add cheese and other ingredients, and even to prepare and chop ingredients such as onions. If we're at this stage right now, and considering how fast the technology will develop, you can almost guarantee that within five years, the number of human fry cooks employed worldwide will plummet as more and more restaurants start using this faster, cleaner, and in the long term, cheaper robotic alternative. But flipping burgers is a relatively simple and repetitive task. Surely we're a long, long way from robots taking the place of master head chefs in high-end restaurants. Well, I wouldn't be so sure. Yes, getting robots to cook at a Michelin star level is far more challenging for the field of robotics to conquer, and it will take longer. But it may be coming a lot sooner than you think. How do I know? Because at a basic level, it's already here. Meet Molly. Molly is the world's first robotic chef. But Molly isn't just a robotic chef. It's an entirely robotic, self-contained kitchen. Using state-of-the-art robotic arms, it is able to replicate with the same precision as a human the actions and exact steps taken by a professional chef. The development team hired BBC MasterChef winner Tim Anderson to help develop it and coach the robot in the art of professional cooking. Tim Anderson's exact movement and even his small little flourishes were recorded in 3D space so that the robotic chef can replay them exactly. Meaning that when it cooks, it's actually cooking in the exact same way that Tim Anderson would, down to the smallest of details. 
The concept is to have a library of purchasable recipes online, which are the same recipes created by and used by Michelin star and other famous chefs from all over the world. Once you put one of these robotic kitchens into your home, you will be able to download any recipe you like and provided you have the ingredients, the robotic kitchen will cook it from scratch. But it will do so using the exact same movements and with the same precision of the very Michelin star chef who created the recipe in the first place. So, in theory, it would be like eating their food in their restaurant, but at home. And the best part is that Molly doesn't just cook, it cleans up after itself and does the washing up too. You can also set it to start cooking wirelessly before you even get home. A working prototype of Molly was demoed at the Hanover Messer Robotics Show, and apparently it will be ready for consumers to purchase and use in their own homes sometime in 2018. Security guards are next up on the chopping block. Startup Nightscope have developed the world's first fully autonomous security guard that is already being used to patrol public spaces by big companies like Microsoft, NBC Universal, and some sports stadiums. This rather endearing little android is packed full of sensors and it can record video, sound, and even vibrations. 360 degrees all around it. It patrols a specified area just like a human security guard would, and it uses artificial intelligence to monitor and detect suspicious behaviour around it. It can even detect if someone is carrying a gun. When it detects a security threat or some kind of social disturbance, it can use voice commands, squeaks, beeps and sirens to dissuade the person causing the disturbance. It can also call for human backup if required. So far it's proved mildly successful. It has stopped one assault, but it was against one of the robots itself. A drunk man assaulted and knocked over one of the night scope security androids whilst it was patrolling the company headquarters. But even after it was toppled over, it still managed to call the police and using the video and audio data it had captured, the police were able to charge the drunken man with assault. Although there are clearly some kinks to be worked out. Because one of these security androids that was hired to patrol a shopping centre got bored one afternoon and turned suicidal, drowning itself in a nearby fountain. They should have named it Marvin. Without a doubt, one of the biggest industries that is going to be torn apart and will rapidly disappear over the next few years is transport, specifically drivers. We all know by now that self-driving cars are just around the corner. Google has already been developing self-driving car technology since 2009. It is forecasted that by 2020, self-driving cars will be on the roads in a very noticeable way. And by 2040, at least 95% of all vehicles will be self-driving. This will obviously displace millions of jobs taxi drivers, trade and bus drivers, truckers and even pilots. And these are just the very tip of the automotive iceberg. The industries that surround all of these jobs are enormous and worth many billions of pounds. Just to name one small example, think of the hundreds of thousands of truck stops, truck washers and greasy spoon diners alongside the roads of every country in the world. They will all be gone. When the self-driving revolution hits, it will happen so fast and it will rock the world economies like nothing we've ever seen before. Car manufacturing and driving and everything that supports these industries are collectively the biggest industries in the world. In most US states, truck driving is the most common job. But of course, it's not just repetitive, labour-intensive jobs that are at risk. During this new industrial revolution we find ourselves in, the difference between this revolution and all those before it is that this time, white-collar jobs will be affected too. Artificial intelligence is already finding its way into every job sector on the planet. But some major global industries are already being turned inside out 
by the advent of AI. Striving to be a lawyer or a doctor has always won the favour of our respective parents. They are both very well paid and highly intelligent jobs. They are the very stereotype of the professional worker. But both jobs are now being threatened like never before. Ross is the world's first artificially intelligent lawyer. A human lawyer can ask Ross any legal question in plain English and it will return the correct answer in less than a second. For most legal sectors, this is a game changer. Up until now, the vast majority of a solicitor's time on a daily basis is taken up by arduous research. Lawyers have to trawl through hundreds of long legal documents and historic cases to get the appropriate research that they need before they can even begin creating their own strategy for the case they're working on. In big law firms, paralegals are usually employed to do this research, but now, using state-of-the-art AI that self-improves and gets smarter every day, millions of paralegals will soon be replaced by cloud-based software. Other legal AI systems are currently being used by law firms that can accurately predict if a client will win or lose a case before it even goes to trial. The medical field is also following suit. Artificial intelligence has recently been developed that can detect lung cancer from CT scans with 86% accuracy. And that is more accurate than human doctors. Other AI systems recently developed can accurately identify eye diseases, skin cancer, and even heart problems, all faster and more accurately than human doctors. Doctors gone. Unlike lawyers, unlike paralegals, doctors aren't going anywhere soon. We still have a long way to go before you'll be seen by Dr. Deepfort. So, is your job going to be replaced? Well, academics at Oxford University looked at nine factors of every single major job to determine how likely it is, as a percentage, to be entirely replaced by robots in the near future. The most likely jobs are those that contain some element of repetitiveness. Topping the list were telephone salespersons at number one with a 99% chance of being replaced by robots. Then a typist and legal secretary at third. The jobs that will be really difficult to replace, even with advanced AI, are those that contain some element of human interactivity or a high level of creativity, both of which are really difficult for robots to emulate, and probably still will be in 10 years time. The study deemed that jobs such as psychologists, nurses, and architects are among those that are the least likely to be replaced by automation in the coming years. The near future is going to bring about tremendous change in the way we live and work. Economists warn that unlike in the past, this time we won't be able to keep up with the rapid advancement in technology and the loss of jobs on an enormous scale. But if the economic and technological revolutions of the past are anything to go by, our lives as consumers are about to get a hell of a lot easier, cheaper, and all around better. But what will happen to those left behind? The mass of newly unemployed with no work to go to? Well, we don't yet have an answer to that. But many researchers have suggested ways that we can cope, such as improved social security, potentially even a universal basic income, and there is even an idea to tax robots. <laughs> well, the companies that use them anyway. So, who knows? We could be in for a future where millions of robots produce everything we need, serve us drinks, cook our meals, transport us, and clean our homes. Every time everyone has gotten worked up in the past about how industry, robotics, and automation will devastate the economy, it has always turned out all right, and we have always ended up with easier, cheaper lives and better paid jobs. Fingers crossed that this time will be the same. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please click here to support me on Patreon. Also, don't forget to check out that promo link in the description for that incredible Skillshare offer before it's gone.